being here just felt so natural and just being in competition really brought out the best of me. Firstly, because it's a great opportunity to learn more about engineering. My physics teacher encouraged me and that, <laughs> that really like, caught my attention. Uh, I wanted to participate in the Innovation Challenge to get a closer look at the industry. I wanted to have a direct experience with uh, the projects. The competition is to design an autonomous robot that can navigate its way through a simple obstacle course using various types of sensors and ultimately to get through a door. So I think it was a, it's a great experience being here and seeing like what I'm doing at school is really applicable to like what we do here or what people actually do for a living. Well, it helped me see the process. It helped me realize there's a lot more than theoretical stuff. Um, and it helped me see, you know, I can do this. I can handle the engineering field. What I got from the Innovation Challenge 2013 is the fact that robots are very complex. Uh, the whole idea of programming is a very tedious manner. However, there's a tremendous application in the real world. Getting a hands-on idea with it now is very useful in my future career. Overall, um, it gives you a good insight of what it takes to be an engineer, uh, working with people, and um, it was all a very pleasant experience. Uh, I got to work with my peers, and we got um, what needed to be done. I learned how to code a robot <laughs> because I had no prior experience. Um, uh, also, time management it was a key thing that we had to learn, as well as like uh, working together and working with deadlines. It helped me realize that I want to do mechanical engineering. First of all, I want to be aerospace engineering. It strengthened my resolve to go into a career of math and sciences because I've loved working with the programs. Uh, my career and education goals is maybe to go into um, into mechanical engineering or um, a computer science. I plan on going into environmental engineering and chemical engineering, so hopefully later on in my life, you know, I will be able to use any sort of practicality of this engineering that I'm learning now and the skills that I'm learning now for to further my, my prospects. You know, who knows where I will end up, but I know it's something in engineering.